Stacey Abrams, the pretend governor of Georgia. Stacey Abrams ran for governor of Georgia. She lost to Brian Kemp. And then she just didn't concede. She just pretended she was governor of Georgia. And even though she couldn't live in the governor's mansion, she would go around and started nonprofits to raise money, get her face out there. She goes on TV as though she's an elected politician. She's not. She holds no office. And if you were tuning into Star Trek recently, you would turn on and find out that Stacey Abrams is not just a failed gubernatorial candidate in Georgia. She's actually president of the universe. Stacey Abrams, she lost the governorship of Georgia. She gained the presidency, the chancellorship of the entire universe, according to an episode of Star Trek. Today, we greet the president of United Earth. Madam President. Madam President. Welcome. I am so pleased that you've come. We are eager to begin diplomatic discussions. Nothing to discuss. United Earth is ready right now to rejoin the Federation. And nothing could make me happier than to say those words. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay, I've got to fact check myself. I don't watch Star Trek and I certainly don't watch Stacey Abrams. So she's the president of Earth. Not, not, they, they, were, they would never be so ambitious as to say she's president of the universe. Not yet. She's the president of Earth and she's united the whole Earth. And now they're going to join, I guess, the Galactic Federation with Darth Vader. And I don't know. I don't watch any of these shows. The first thing I noticed about this clip from Stacey Abrams, if you're only listening, you, w- you wouldn't have noticed this right now. They only ever have the camera on Stacey Abrams for about two to three seconds at a time. Presumably, this is because her performance was terrible. And so they had to just construct her performance. So even as she's speaking, it'll cut to a clip of someone else. It'll cut to a clip behind her because she's she's not an actress. She's a politician and a failed politician at that. But the libs are so desperate to get her into office that they are going to use everything at their disposal, not just the legacy media, the news media to lie about her and lie about that election and give her the biggest boost she can get in her race to try to get the governorship again, but they're going to use Hollywood. They're going to use everything available to them to meme her into office. Let me ask you something. Why should Stacey Abrams be the governor of Georgia? Even if you're, I I doubt there are very many Stacey Abrams supporters listening to this show. Maybe there are some though. We have liberal listeners. We have Democrat listeners. What, What is it about Stacey Abrams that makes her qualified to be the governor of Georgia. What has she done? What what does she do that means she should be the governor of Georgia? If Stacey Abrams's supporters are being honest with themselves, they will admit nothing, nothing, no accomplishment, no particular quality about her means she should be governor other than her sex and her race. That is why, that's why people like her or that's why people pretend to like her because she just plays identity politics. This is the only reason Kamala Harris is the vice president. Don't take my word for it. That's what Joe Biden said. He said, I'm only going to pick a black woman. Meaning I think it's electorally beneficial to me to purely play identity politics, pick a black woman. So I'm just going to pick a black woman. And he only had three options available to him. Really? It was uh, Carol, Karen Bass, who's that communist congresswoman, like an actual literal con- communist congresswoman. She wasn't going to work. Uh, Kamala Harris, who was extremely unlikable, first out in the Democrat primary, she didn't seem like she could work, or Susan Rice, who was Obama's fall guy for Benghazi. So of three bad options, he picked Kamala Harris. She's the least popular vice president in recent history. She's less popular than Dick Cheney was after he shot a man in the face, after the Iraq war, after everything that made him unpopular. She's very unpopular. So why did he pick her? He said he only picked her because of the color of her skin and her sex. Why is Ketanji Jackson the Supreme Court nominee? The only reason is because of the color of her skin and her sex. Don't take my word for it. That's what Joe Biden said. Why is Stacey Abrams a thing? Only because of the color of her skin and her sex. That's that's what the supporters are talking about. Now, I'm not downplaying her political skills. She's done a pretty good job of remaining in the news even after she just keeps losing. Even she should have gone away after that election. She has, she's, so she's, she's a clever and shrewd politician in that way. 
But the only reason that people are supporting her is because of these superficial, virtual things. Oh, she should be the governor of Georgia because she's the president of the earth. That's why. They're going to try to meme her into office. And, And this is a big problem. When you're living in a virtual world, then when real life problems come at you, you're not going to be prepared for them. When we're living in a world of, of virtual problems, transgenderism, intersect white supremacy, uh, systemic racism, problems that are completely fictional that only exist in people's imaginations. Then when Vladimir Putin rolls tanks into Ukraine, people have no idea what the hell to do because that, that, that seems so old timey. Well, hold on. People still roll tanks into foreign countries. Hold on. There are still invasions. There's still war. I thought we were past all that. I thought that our biggest problem now was making sure that hulking dudes can swim in the Ivy League women's swim championship. Wait, you're telling me we still have to deal with real problems like territory and geography and weapons and buffer states and strategic interests and alliances? Huh, I don't know anything about that. But let me read you a poem by Bono. I'm really good at that. And that's all they can do. And that's why we seem impotent and feckless on the world stage. 